This show has been sponsored by Sijuan News Guys. Hi, I'm Tisha Jiro, and we're gonna interview some beautiful people here at Maracas Beach. It's wonderful today, and it's gonna be fun. Thank you very much. Okay, so it's lovely to see you in Maracas Beach. My How do you like it? Oh, it's your second home. I would say that, yeah. Oh my God, my second home as well. Yeah. Like, anyhow, I'm <laughs> joking. But what is your name? Kenneth Richards. I am Tisha Chiro. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. So how often do you come to Maracas? I would say religiously, oh, yeah. maybe at least for the bare minimum once a week. Wow. It's essential. Once a week. It's essential. Oh my God, I wish I can do that. That's oh, great yeah. though. I mean the food, I mean the, but you know, it's summertime, but here in Trinidad we only have two seasons, the dry and the wet season. So it being the rainy season now, to get a sunny day like this is a gift, it's a, it's a blessing. So I just had to escape work and come down to the beach. I wouldn't miss the opportunity. I love it. Well, that's great to hear. Okay, so it's summer. Yeah. It's two weeks again uh, before school, you know, starts again. Yeah. Does it affect you? Uh, Traffic-wise, yeah, for sure. Right now, you know, the roads are pretty nice. I think um, if I was trying to come here any other time of the week during school, school days or school hours, we would have probably, you know, still been in traffic to this point. But wow. um, so it's nice, you know, the summer vacation, the August vacation, no big set of traffic on the road to worry about. Makes going from A to B or to Maracas. Um, quite easy and yeah, much more enjoyable. So, okay, so you, you love Maracas? Sure. I do, I do. What do you love most about Maracas? Um, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say, like, what is your rating of this show? <laughs> what's, what's the... No, it's... It's, it's an inter internet show, right? So it's, it's, yeah, it's a, yeah. Well, my daughter was conceived on the beach. Oh my God! So, I mean, <laughs> it's a magical place. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, I have four and I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, to, you know where to have number five. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I'm good. <laughs> but it's all fun to do this because I mean, just knowing that you love Maracas, I love the fact that they had this whole entire situation. umbrella. Yeah, the umbrella. And the bar. And last time I came, it was the bar across there with a, a little pond. It's transformed so much, even from when I I was um young and I could remember first coming to Maracas. They used to have the the, the cabanas. La, yeah. yeah, the cabanas and. It's evolved so much. At first, I was quite personally a little worried when I saw that they were doing construction on the other side and I knew they were going to be incorporating more um, concrete facilities. I was worried about, you know, what kind of balance that would have struck between the natural ambience and infrastructure as we do need it. So it's, it's kind of nice to see that I think the project is in good hands. The government's been doing a fantastic job, I think. Um, and it's been some years in the making. So it's nice to see it slowly come to life. I'll tell you what, I was actually, I was born in the US, I was raised there until I was about 11 um, and I went back and forth between Trinidad and the US um, from the ages of uh, 16 to 20 and I, I ultimately decided to reside here. Um, being well indoctrinated with the American culture and, and the, the ideologies of freedom, I would say that I only truly experienced it and felt like I was living it when I was here in Trinidad. And, I think it's one of those kind of bittersweet things because it could be taken advantage of, which we see quite so often it is, by um, citizens and politicians alike. Um, but it doesn't change the beauty and the cultural uniqueness that is Trinidad and Tobago. What is within you? <laughs> exactly. Is what, is what is within us. I mean, yes. like, what, what I'm about is what I think, and this is how I feel, yeah. and nobody's going to change that. That's the attitude I get from you, and that's great. I mean, being, I'm, a, I'm actually a, a, a soak artist, so... It, oh, you are! It's a, it's a responsibility, I think, um, as an entertainer, we also take up sub rules as educators, as well as um, cultural influencers. So, I think um, in the spirit of, of patriotism and nationalism, 
Um, yeah. It's important for us to, to have hope for a better tomorrow for Trinidad and Tobago. And when, when we are on the grand, beautiful beach of Maracas Beach, it's kind of easy to set the tone for a conversation or a discussion like that. You know? So, what better place? And you realize. Hello. Hi. My name is Tisha. Nice to meet you. Giselle. Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, Giselle. Yeah. So, how often do you come to Maracas? Um, we try at least a couple of times a month. And how often do you come? <laughs> Same as her, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it's during the week. What yeah, is it? Oh, we come on weekends. It depends. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, as it's summer, and you know, it's, it's, I mean, well, we look at school and it's like two weeks away. Does it matter to you? Yeah, we're both teachers, so we're oh. kind of on vacation. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, that's good. So, I mean, you're having a blast. Yeah, that's great. How do you think the water is today? I love it. And I wanted to stay in longer. I was like, we need to stay. It's never like this. Maracas is never like this. We yeah. need to stay in longer. No, that's the same thing with me right now. Some, some of us want to leave and I want to stay. <laughs> so, I'm going through the same thing. What about Shark and Bake? Have you had any? Um, not yet. Is it shake, shark and bake or bacon shark? <laughs> well, that's the thing. You know, we always say, we, I guess it, it depends on where you're from. I say shark and bake. I say bacon shark. Yeah, okay. What? Shark and bake. What? You say, you say, say bacon, bacon shark? shark? No, you ham say on, shark ham and hops, bake. Bread and cheese. You know what I'm saying? Bacon shark. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't matter to me how I say it or how it's, it's done. I just say shock and bake, but it can be bacon shock. It's the same thing. It still tastes great, so. I know, right? But I made pilau, so. <laughs> okay, we're coming over there just now. Then. Yeah, come. We have lots of, yeah, come over and have some pilau. It's nice to see that you're selling wonderful jewelry. Did you do this yourself? Yeah, I make this myself. In fact, I made the rock as well. Okay. Um, usually I am uh, during the summertime, uh, as well as on weekends and public holidays. Okay, so where do you get these uh, gems from? Um, or what do you call of, them? Some of the bees I source them locally and some I can actually order online. And some of my offerings are actually pieces that I do myself. Some of my local pieces are not here today, but this is what I'm offering the general public at the beach today. Oh, okay. So you normally have more I have, stuff. I have tons of stuff. I have carvings, I have uh, ankle bands, wallets, and different things here. Why? Oh but my today, gosh. This is what I have. It's just a limited amount of stuff. So where are you from? I'm from Trinidad. I, I'm from Arima. Wow. So you come from all the way to Arima to Maracas I, Beach. I, I drive every time I have to come to the beach. Right. I hate rush hour traffic, so this works for me. Oh, great. How long have you been doing this? Um, I don't know, probably about, about 20 years. Yeah. I've been corporate before and I left it behind, you know, because... It's not me, Monday morning meetings and stuff like that. So this is easier for me. I meet a lot of people. It's good for networking. I mean, I'm meeting movers and shakers on the beach. Then some of them become my friends over time and it's nice. Well, that's great. Yeah, so I mean, it's all fantastic and all the leather stuff you have here. Yeah, um, these are all my ideas and I source the material sometimes locally or I have to import. Oh, so you don't buy them and then sell them over, you do it yourself? No, this is not made in China. None of my prices are made in China prices. This is local artisanship on the beach. And what's your name? Joe Kim. Uh, what's your contact details? Oh, right. Um, well, I'm on WhatsApp. Uh, my number is 1-868-477-8469. So anybody out there who's looking and they're interested in probably seeing some of my other pieces, if they're on WhatsApp, they can WhatsApp me and I can send photos. Um, Hi, how are you? Good. What's your name? Nikolai Sam. And when is school opening? September the 3rd. So that's like next two weeks? Yeah. So how do you feel to be at the beach today? Good. Okay, so um, the weather is lovely, isn't it lovely? Yeah. So I saw you on the beach earlier on, you had a good time? Yeah. So how's the water? Good. Are you looking forward to going back to school or are you going to come back to the beach as much as you can before? Yeah. <laughs> I would too. 